So now we're going to be looking at the pH at a halfway point of a weak acid strong base titration curve. And so this is a special point that's related to the equilibrium and the henderson hasselbalch equation. And we don't have an equivalent point in our strong um, acid strong base titration curve. So once again, we're starting with a given amount, 50 milliliters or 0.1 molar of our uh, weak acid, acetic acid. And now we're adding a certain amount of strong base to it. We still have uh, the same Ka and pKa. And when I understand I'm doing a titration, by that I mean we are starting with a certain amount of weak acid and we're adding a certain amount of our strong base, I know that there's going to be a neutralization reaction. So the first thing I want to know is how many moles of each species I have initially. So moles of weak acid, molarity times volume. So I gave you the molarity up here. So molarity is 0.1. We get, have 50 milliliters or 0 0.05 liters. And from that, we start with 5.0 times 10 to the minus third mole. Then I want to know how many uh, moles of hydroxide I've just added. And remember, um, in this case, the molarity of sodium hydroxide is going to be molarity of hydroxide. So when I find the number of moles hydroxide added, moles is equal to molarity times volume. So here I've given you the molarity of sodium hydroxide, 0.1 molar. And I've told you I've added 25 milliliters or 0 0.025 liters. I multiply these two numbers together. I get that um, we have added 2.5 times 10 to the minus third mole of hydroxide. Um, so with this, we always want to take a second and say where are we at on our titration curve. So before we continue on, I notice that uh, the number of moles of weak acid are greater than the moles of hydroxide. So that automatically tells me we are before the equivalence point and we will be using the henderson hasselbalch equation. So with this, when we look at the relative amounts, um, we want to find out how many moles of weak acid is left. And we understand um, we use up weak acid with our hydroxide here. So if I know how many moles of hydroxide I've added, um, I subtract that from the number of moles of weak acid I had initially, and that will give me how many moles of uh, weak acid we have left. So the hydroxide is neutralizing the weak acid in a one to one mole ratio. So this is how many moles of uh, acetic acid we started with. This is how many moles of hydroxide we've added. And now this is how many moles of our weak acid we have left. Same idea, the hydroxide converts weak acid into conjugate base. And we understand that the amount of conjugate base that we have made is equal to the number of moles of hydroxide. That's what hydroxide does, is it converts weak acid into conjugate base. In this case, how much? The, it is equal to the number of moles of hyd um, hydroxide we've added. And remember, we've already calculated that up here. So the number of moles of our conjugate base, base that is made is equal to the number of moles of hydroxide that is added, and that's equal to 2.5 times 10 to the minus third mole. So be, be, because we are using a weak acid strong base titration curve and because we, we are before the equivalence point, we're going to use the henderson hasselbalch equation. So when I plug these numbers in, so um, remember it is uh, conjugate base uh, divided by acid. So the number of moles of our conjugate base is here. That goes in this top part. The number of moles of weak acid is here. That goes in the bottom part. Um, you can see these two numbers are equal to each other. So uh, this divided by that is one, and the log of one is equal to zero. So this whole piece disappears, and what we get is that the pH is equal to the pKa. So this is true for the halfway point in any weak acid strong base titration curve, or uh, usually for those titration curves. And I can tell that we are at the um, halfway point because the number of moles of weak acid that I started with is equal to uh, the number of moles of conjugate base that we have made. So the number of moles of weak acid that is left is equal to the number of moles of um, conjugate base that we've made. So we've converted half of our weak acid into conjugate base. That's what they mean by a halfway point. So we have, uh, we're halfway through the complete titration of our weak acid. And when, we're, when that is true at the halfway point of a weak acid strong base titration curve, the pH is equal to the pKa of the acid.